Ujjain is one of the most ancient cities of India and it is considered to be one of the seven holiest places. After the churning of the milk ocean, when Danvantari appeared with the pot of nectar, a struggle ensued between the demigods and demons to seize the pot. At that time, a few drops of nectar fell in four places. Ujjain is one of them. It is here in Ujjain that the Supreme Personality of Godhead in his Mohini Murti distributed nectar to the demigods. Lord Shiva eternally resides in Ujjain as Mahakaleshvara. Sandipani Muni's ashram also used to be here, where Krishna and Balaram came to study 5,000 years ago. Recently, while still acting as the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh, Uma Bharati offered 300 acres of land to ISKCON to set up various spiritual activities. When the Chief Secretary and the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh took the initiative to invite Iskon to Jain, and uh, I met uh, Swamiji. He accompanied the Chief Secretary, uh, came to Jain. I had a pleasant task of convincing Swamiji that Jain is the best place to set up a, a new center, as it is uh, the place where uh, Bhagwan Krishna had his studies in Guru Sandipani's ashram. This is a very ancient town with a uh, lot of religious importance. We have the holy river Shipra which flows in this town. And the land which was selected for a skull is on the banks of river Shipra. It's a beautiful piece of land. On 7th November, a temporary ISKCON temple was established in a community center in one of the most prestigious parts of the city. Thousands of people, including most of the important personalities of Ujjain, participated in this program. The function enchanted everyone, and ISKCON was established in full glory. Prasad was distributed abundantly to thousands of participants. His Holiness Jayadveta Swami was the first visiting sannyasi to come to Ujjain. Well, it's always fortunate to have 
the association of His Holiness Bhakti Chara Maharaj, and especially in a holy place, which Jain is the place where Krishna got his education, and it's a fortunate place for other people to become educated about Krishna. It's wonderful that after such a short time, there's immediately a good response. People are coming, there are very nice crowds of enthusiastic people who like to hear and take part in the kirtan. So it's a very nice indication that just after coming there's good success. During the first Sunday love feast, about 500 people participated. Since then, the number is increasing every week. Now, about 12 to 1500 people come every Sunday. They all get sumptuous Krishna Prasad. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. A has been established with a few cows and calves. They give about 20 liters of milk a day. Ujjain is reputed for its educational institutions. As a matter of fact, it is a university city. Taking advantage of the receptive students and favorable authorities, regular college and university preaching programs are going on. Recently, the most prestigious indoor public school organized an international conference on human resource management and leadership for the new millennium. His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami was invited to be the keynote speaker. However, Maharaj decided to send one of his disciples from England, Sandipan Krishnadas, who is visiting Ujjain after having completed his master's degree as one of the top 10 students of the London School of The other participants in this program were Mr. R. Prasad, President of STI Sano, Mr. R. Damodaran, Vice President of IDBI, Mr. K.G. Shanoi, Director of Bridgestone, and Mr. O.K. Kaul, President of Tata International. Although only 24 years old, Sambitan Krishnadas created a very favorable impression. I'm sure with a prominent ISKCON center here, the youth preaching here will flourish tremendously. 
I also uh, had the opportunity to do some college programs organized by Iskan Ujjain here uh, for the Bhaktivedanta Institute and in particular I gave one talk at the Vikram University on, uh, to the physics department, about 200 people attended. And the nice thing is the next day the head of the department of physics came over, he talked with us and uh, he very readily uh, expressed the you know, agreement when we suggested that why don't we do a program in collaboration with Vikram University just as we do with Birla Institute of Technology and Science. Regular Harinam, Prasadam distribution and book distribution goes on in Ujjain. Although His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami came to Ujjain to develop a project on 300 acres of land, upon his arrival he decided to first of all construct a temple in the city. For this purpose, the government authorities offered ISKCON four acres of land in the most prestigious part of the city. Maharaj decided to plunge into action straight away. The 6th of February was marked as the day for the groundbreaking ceremony and installation of Ananta Shesh. Srila Prabhupada always desired that whatever ISKCON does must be first class and His Divine Grace told His disciples also to strictly adhere to that principle. The devotees of Ujjain, under the leadership of Bhakti Charu Swami, decided to make this groundbreaking ceremony an event for the city of Ujjain. To assist them, devotees came from different parts of India. Local congregation members and devotees worked tirelessly to prepare a feast which would leave a lasting impression in the minds of thousands of guests who came to grace the ceremony. Flowers were flown in from Bombay and devotees made beautiful garlands and decorated the temple most magnificently. Beautiful nine hooded deity of Ananta Shesh was forged out of pure gold with nine precious gems, namely diamond, sapphire, pearl, ruby, emerald, amethyst, 
topaz, coral, and garnet. The auspicious Abhishek was conducted by bathing Anantashesh with five types of nectar such as milk, yogurt, ghee, honey, and sugar water. On sixth morning, Ananta Shesh was taken to Gopalji Temple, which was established by the king of Avanti many, many years ago, and which is the most prominent Radha Krishna temple of Ujjain. <laughs> In a grand procession, Anantashesh was taken to the Mahakaleshwar temple, the temple of Lord Shiva, who is considered to be the lord of the city. The citizens of Ujjain responded to this grand celebration with heartfelt appreciation. They showered flowers, offered garlands, and joined the procession. <laughs> Mahakalishwar, who is a devotee of Sankarshan, Balaram, was indeed pleased to see his worshipable Lord Ananta Shesh. <laughs> We extend our most heartfelt gratitude to all of you for your participation in this ceremony to mark the installation of Lord Ananta Shesh, on whose head the temple of Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan will rest. Today we are inaugurating the construction of the temple through this auspicious ceremony. Now we will conduct the fire sacrifice. Upon the arrival of Ananta Shesh at the construction site, which is now turned into a grand festival site, 
a fire sacrifice was performed to sanctify the land and to invoke the mercy of the Lord. Lord Ananta Shesh, who makes arrangements for all the necessities of Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, will now reside here. On his head, the temple will become manifest as a most precious transcendental gem. All the important citizens of Ujjain, Indor and Bhopal were invited to grace this occasion. These important personalities were Mr. Jatia, a member of parliament, Mr. Vivek Agarwal, the collector of Ujjain, Mr. Mohan Yadav, the chairman of Ujjain Development Authority, Mr. Anand Shankar Vyas, a prominent citizen of Ujjain and a descendant of Sandipani Muni, His Holiness Subhag Swami, His Holiness Veda Vyas Priya Swami, His Grace Devakinandan Das, the Zonal Secretary of UP and Rajasthan, His Grace Rasaraj Das Brahmachari, Director of Bhaktivedanta Institute, and His Grace Haridas Prabhu, a senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu predicted that in every town and village all over the world, this Vedic Sanatan Dharma Krishna Consciousness Movement will spread. And in the recent past, we saw that this impossible prediction has become a reality. Therefore, our mission is to establish Radha Krishna Temple. Today, we are actually inaugurating the construction of a beautiful temple in the beautiful holy city of Uchain. This model in the corner of the stage that you have seen is how this temple will look. It will be built in this particular location and we are planning to complete it in one year's time. When I found out that ISKCON wants to build a temple in Madhya Pradesh, we forwarded a proposal to build a temple here in Ujjain. Swamiji blessed us and decided to set up a temple in Ujjain. The leaders and other government officials here at Ujjain also agreed to support ISKCON and facilitate them to build a temple. From the very beginning, Swamiji wanted to bring 18 different projects to Ujjain, such as a Radha Krishna temple, a spiritual center, an Ayurvedic hospital, a naturopathy center, an international school, a video animation project to produce video games, a food processing center, and a big tourist attraction network. We are happy to have this opportunity to join hands with ISKCON in these projects. We had made a project model for the temple which Maharaj had envisioned to be built on the 300 acres of land on the banks of the river Shipra. That project is still very much alive. 
This temple here is just a miniature representation of that great vision. On behalf of my colleagues and engineers, I pledge that we will try to finish the construction in one year's time, if not earlier. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness has many centers, but unfortunately, in Madhya Pradesh, there are no formal temples. In Ujjain, ISKCON will have its first large established temple. I hope and pray to the Prabhupada and Sri Krishna that all of your participation will only increase more and more so that there's a wonderful center here that becomes a shining oasis for spreading Krishna consciousness throughout Ujjain and all the neighboring places here. Srila Prabhupada Ki! The grand finale of the program was the 12 course feast. Srila Prabhupada constructed many gorgeous temples in many parts of the world and he predicted that many more will become manifest in due course of time. Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan Temple in Ujjain will indeed become one of them. Go Vindam Adipurusham